pieces with like the wind cockerel uh, on the top you know blown with every gust and wind just points in different directions and the bible talks about those who had the word of god into the stony soil of the mind that what happened is that the word of god sprouted up uh, in their lives for a little while but when the wind blew of course it blew them over as well and because they didn't have any root going down they just fell over anyway without the wind but when the temptation came it knocked them over all the quicker and other people received the word very quickly with joy oh they were happy they want to go to heaven they want to do all those things but they're not willing to repent and turn away from an evil life and the bible talks about uh, paradise being given to those who accept christ as their god and the savior paradise to those who are humble enough to do so so without repentance though, there is no remission to accept christ as god and savior is to accept him as lord of your life and that way he becomes except the man uh, repents you can't be saved they both go together you have to be uh, realize you're a sinner you have to repent your sin be sorry for your sin and turn away from it you have to realize and turn to christ as your lawyer because there's no other way to get into heaven and the point is jesus the bible says neither is there salvation in any other there's none other name given among men whereby we must be saved except through christ however this lawyer we have with the father jesus the bible says jesus said i am the way the truth and the, the life no man comes to the father except by me so this is a one way to god approach there's no world government there's no new world order there's no multi-faithism in the gospel it's all through christ it's not through mohammedism it's not through anything else the bible teaches that christ is the way to heaven now the mashiach it says was to come into the world and uh, this mashiach was the christ who was foretold in psalm 22 and it says they pierce my hands and my feet a prophecy of jesus coming into the world in isaiah 53 he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgressions of his people was he smitten and it says in uh, chapter 9 of daniel that the mashiach will be cut off after 70 weeks 480 days which is 70 weeks and uh, a day is taken for a year prophetically in chapter 4 and verse 6 of Ezekiel where it tells you that and therefore for after 480 days or 480 years Christ was to be cut off from the going forth of the commandment what to, not by Cyrus that was the wrong time but from our tax works so uh, which was to restore the you know to build the walls of Jerusalem and uh not the temple so the point is um we know that 400 years was the time christ was cut off killed that cut off means capital punishment the place where they used to do capital punishment was uh, golgotha uh, the place of the skull is like a cliff there they used to stone them with stones throw them off the cliff and dash them with stones um, make sure they were dead if they weren't killed and pushed off the cliff and that's why the psalm tells you that uh, they they said blessed are those who dashed the children against the stones what a terrible thing to say but under the law it was an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth terrible thing the enemies did it to their children so to terrify their enemies they did it to theirs and pushed them all over the cliff uh, you know in some cases they kept the, the the virgins alive or whatever they didn't kill them and in other cases you know they, they put them to death in different places when they went in different parts throughout the land they threw stones over them when they were in the tents of course and uh, they didn't throw them off the Golgotha's hill the place of execution of course where Christ died was the, was the north side of the uh, Mount Moriah which is Golgotha the place of the skull this where Christ was crucified as well the place of execution uh, and died for in our place the same place where they dashed the children against the stones but under the old testament law it was a severe and uh, a cruel uh, you know thing which we don't know of in our civilized societies today um very little of um when you realize uh, what went on in those days i mean it says david laid men under the sores not a lot of many people know that by the way in the book of chronicles so david the psalmist is cutting people in half i mean torture we call that but the point is he was an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth david did exactly to the enemies uh, what the enemies did to them so when we look at that jesus says no no this isn't the way 